What's going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Dustin. And last time what we did is we made it so that our little skeleton dude can move and it'll follow around our player and and try to attack him and whatnot, whatever we want to do with it. Um another thing that was going on, uh, which I wanted to try and fix in the last video, is we were getting some warnings down in our console, and I wasn't able to get those warnings to pop back up, but while I was testing a couple of different things in this game, um, we got this warning here. And it looks like it's the same ones from last time. So I'm going to go ahead and just go over how to get rid of some of these. Um, so what this is saying is enemy controller dot speed is never assigned to. Um, and it will always have a default value of zero and it says that for all four of these here our enemy controller dot speed dot max range player controller dot speed and dot max or er, minimum range so let's go ahead and just click on one of these and see what's going on here so what this is saying is um it's in reference to our private float speed and what we're doing so because we set it to private um, Unity wants us to set a value for the speed right away because it's not expecting us to be able to change it within the editor. It's expected to be set here. In the editor, it automatically, if we go over to... Let's close out this. Um, we set it here, but Unity doesn't... Or it doesn't know that yet because it's... We, what we did is we made it a serialized field. It's still acting as a private variable, but we serialized it so that we can change it in the editor. So basically what we want to do is um, on all of these um, private float variables, I just want to go ahead and set this to zero, F. And, oh, geez. And the F basically just means float. Um, if you don't have that F, it it might have trouble trying to distinguish this number between a float and an int, and it could cause problems later. Um, it might not, but it could. So we just put this F here to be sure that we're telling it that it's a float value. So and then we're going to do this on this as well. And I want to do that on... Not between float and minimum range, after minimum range. Zero F. I'll put the F there as well. And then we're also getting the same thing on our player controller script because we have this private float of speed here. So we can set that just to default it to zero, just like that. So let's go ahead and save both of those scripts. Go back into Unity. And voila, there they are. They're gone. I can't even open up the console. And make sure that nothing changed in our scripts themselves. Like our speed getting set to zero, it did not happen, which is good. And then none of this got set to zero as well. So perfect. I think that is all I'm going to do in this video. Um, I was in the middle of getting ready to set up for the next video when this popped up, but I thought, hey, let's go ahead and fix this now. So, if you're enjoying the series, please make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon so that you can get all of my videos whenever I upload them, and I will see you next time.